Well, hi everyone, it's Marcus and welcome to more Zooming in the Jungle Room. Today I'm Zooming all the way up to Queensland where I'm speaking to Jason Chaselands. You may know Jason as Leather Lungs. Jason, how are you today? I'm great, thank you. And you're one of the first people that's ever said my last name right. Wow, well, I, I, I do my best. <laughs> I do my best. Now, I'm just, you know, I mean, you know I love my plants and I'm loving the shirt that you're wearing. <laughs> Just for you. It's a bit of lace, a bit of flowers. Uh, look, a bit of sheer, you know, it never hurt anyone. <laughs> Plus it's, it's humid. So. <laughs> <laughs> now you love Adelaide. You get here quite a bit. We're going to talk about, you know, all your ventures in Adelaide in due course. But the reason why you are speaking to me today is because you're going to be coming um, to, well, to Adelaide next time for the Adelaide Cabaret Fringe Festival, which is happening in May. We're going to talk about that. Um, are you looking forward to getting back to Adelaide? No, of course I am. Yeah, <laughs> it's, um, it's <laughs> no, it's one of those things. I love Adelaide audiences. Um, I just love how, uh, I don't know, they're just so lovely and they always interact with me. Most of my fan base, I hate saying that, but are in Adelaide um, and I've had the biggest support there. So I love coming back. I, I love it. Well, Adelaide Cabaret Fringe Festival um, is going to be running from the 24th of May to the 2nd of June at various venues across Adelaide. Um, and we're going to, be, we'll talk about all that. There's comedy, there's fire, there's there's so much th theatre, oh, right. singing. Um, you are going to be doing a show that runs the entire duration every single night um, called Cab Live. Um, how did you yeah. get that gig? And are you looking forward to that? I'm really excited about that. Yes, I got just sort of approached about it. Would I be interested? And I was like, yep, hands down. Because I love working with, there's so many incredible local um, Adelaide artists, like incredible. I mean, like some of the top tier artists live in Adelaide. It's just a fact. And the fact that, um, you know, I get to host it and be among them and like, and meet some of them. Cause you know, we don't always get to know each other or meet each other or you're like, you know, same time. So that's so exciting. Um, and when Simone asked me to come on, I was like, yep, yeah, done. And I knew Dolly and that had done it before. So I was like, well, if Dolly, old Dolly can get out there and drive, I'm going to go, I'm going to go for it. Because she's always been such a supportive role model to me. And she was like, do it, you know, so. And it, look, it's a really, really good vibe. And like, you're you're right. Um, Dolly, yeah. last year, I think Tash York was involved with it last yeah, year. Yeah, and Tash is a good friend as well, so. Um, isn't it crazy in Australia? Um, as I mean, we're not a huge, huge place, uh, but um, you know, the arts and entertainment culture and friend group in Australia is actually everyone knows everybody, right? Yeah, and most of us like each other. Most of us. Well, we're going to say that on camera. What we can talk about after is a whole other thing, Mister. <laughs> <laughs> most people are really beautiful people. <laughs> but we do. We like. I think it's because we all jump around from festival to festival, and you know all that kind of stuff. And you know, I mean, there's a lot of uh, musical theatre that doesn't actually come to Adelaide uh, because of how yeah. production is. So you know, us Adelaideans have to go over to Melbourne or Sydney quite often to see certain yeah. um, performances and whatnot. But um, yeah, so. The tight knit community of arts and entertainment um, in Australia is really, really cool. Um, now, um, tell me, what were you down in Adelaide for last? Was it maybe Adelaide Fringe or something? Yep, I did Adelaide Fringe. I did my solo, and then I was guesting in Best of Fringe and a bunch of other things. So that was awesome. I was actually just there recently for rehearsals for a new circus. Oh, wow. Um, which will premiere next next Adelaide Fringe um so we've been off and on developing that so I'm going to be the singer for that show um which is balls to the wall amazing and the cast is yeah I just feel so honored to be asked to be part of that and, and terrified in the best way who's the yeah. production company behind that or can't you say at the moment uh no I can I think I can say yeah. um it's Highwire, so they currently have Rouge Yep. Um, so the new show is called Primal, and I don't think that's a secret. It's been announced this week. So, wow. um, yeah, so that's pretty cool. How exciting. Well, you know what? You just better pack your bags and move to Adelaide, I think. So I'm not this is where all your I'm work like this. is. This close. And you've done work with the Feast Festival down in Adelaide before. Um, how long ago did you work on the Feast Festival? I think the last time I did it was just before the pandemic. So it would have been before the 2020 yeah, before, no, yeah, whatever it was, 19, 20, whatever it was. Yeah. So it was like yesterday and five years ago at the same time. So Mayhem. Now let's talk about trying to get back there this year. Yes, please, please yeah. do. 
Um, now, you have been, uh, well, you are known as the queen of falsetto and stiletto. Your voice is dynamic. It's a phenomenal vocal range, um, matching your big personality. Um, <laughs> and as we're talking about this, I'm going to be playing some photos and videography of, you know, some of your work. So brace everybody. Um, but tell me, um, what came first for you? I mean, obviously, you're an iconic singer. Like, your, your singing voice is just incredible um over four octaves which is in just insane i mean i can do five but whatever <laughs> <laughs> please um so tell me um what came first for you um was it the drag element or was it the singing element uh that you first fell into neither um i never thought i'd be a singer or a drag queen drag queens terrified me and singing was like i'm from a very musical family but I wanted to be a rugby player or an actor. Wow. Um, and once I got into acting, I got a scholarship to go to London. And then they were like, you need to sing. And then, so I just sang. I kind of impersonated people, but I think that was just the ADHD as a kid that didn't know what it was. And it was like, oh, you know, I thought I was Audrey McDonald or Patti LuPone, that kind of thing. <laughs> and then I was in Bahrain, living in Bahrain, and I was singing in nightclubs and things. And... I had a partner at the time, this sounds very wanky, who was in Paris and he was like, why don't we do Fringe in Melbourne? Um, not Fringe, Midsummer." And I was like, okay, I think I've got this drag character I want to be. And because I'd done Rocky Horror and I kind of felt the most masculine in boots and in my sexuality and all that. And I wanted something that didn't have a gender and I wanted something that was expressive and could talk about things that Jason couldn't because I'm such a like mumbly meek sort of thing. Um, so yeah, and that kind of came about. And then I did, I've done musicals and that obviously, and my voice kind of kept changing and growing. I started more in classical. And I think that kind of helped me go to the rock side and things. And then the drag element was just armor, I guess, you know? Yeah. And yeah, yeah. So I always, I sometimes forget that I do drag. Yeah. Which sounds, yeah, but. So Jason, what equally do you, to you to create your arts these days? What's your driving force? I think for me, it's my shows especially are very um, about themes that I care about. And I think that's reflected in the things that I post online and I try and, you know, keep on brand. And that's, you know, body positivity, sex positivity. I talk a lot about um, HIV stigma and domestic violence and all that stuff. And I think right now uh, I've tried to be as vocal as I can, especially about all the women getting murdered and things like that, because I feel like if I'm not, then... I'm kind of bullshitting my fan base, you know. Um, and though, and if you've seen my shows, they all they're funny, yeah, sure, and they're entertaining. But I always try and have some kind of um, I don't want to say political message, but message that is important to the cultural surroundings and things. And I think if I'm not, then what am I doing? You know. Sometimes it can just be fun, but I'm not interested in that with my solo work anyway. And do you find work everywhere? I mean, obviously you come to Adelaide quite a lot for work, but are you traveling around Australia doing shows and festivals as well? Yeah, I'm really lucky I get to travel around the world. Yeah. Um, I've done New Zealand a lot. Um, I'm going back to, I've been picked to go to Glastonbury this year. So I'm performing with a band and backup singers in Glastonbury, which That's is huge, phenomenal. Um, you know, and there's like thousands of people just going to watch us for three nights, um, which is something that wasn't even on my bingo card. It just kind of got offered. And that came out of being at Edinburgh last year. And someone saw me sing. And so, just that kind of stuff. And obviously I'm originally from um, New Zealand, so I go back there when I can. But yeah, I get to travel around Australia weekly. So I'm so, so fortunate in that respect. But yeah, I just love Adelaide. Oh, Adelaide's great. And like I was, I was just saying to you before we started recording, our weather in Adelaide at the moment is just insane. It's magical. Um, so warm. It's like summer is still here. Um, the parts are thriving. Yeah, you know, they're thriving. It's like I'm in Queensland. Look at all my babies. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, um, uh, what shows in the Adelaide Cabaret Fringe Festival when you get here? I don't know if you've seen the program yet, but there's some pretty yeah. insane shows. It's like really cool. Lesk as well. There's dance. There's so much spectacular stuff. Are there any shows that you're looking forward to seeing that you've uh, sussed out yet? Yes. Um, there's an artist called Frankie, and they're a cabaret artist and write their own music. They are... Like, they're so young and they're so clever. I, like, want to hate them. <laughs> um, I'm so jealous and envious of their skill set. 
Um, also, there's a whole bunch of burlesque that is just looking incredible. Um, and I think a lot of it's local as well. There are some international artists that are coming, I think, and they're, a part, they're going to be a part of Cab Live, so we're really lucky in that respect. Um, there's a beautiful piece um, that I've been looking at by Jody Atkinson um, about grief. And I really want to see that because it also really resonates with the kind of stuff that I write. And I got to know Jody recently and I was just like, cool. Um, and there's just some camp stuff too. You know, there's some like a queen friend popping over, um, uh, Freddie Commitment's doing um, her dating show and stuff like that. There's yep. amazing fire. I think Inferno's doing another show. Yeah, they are. Um, yep. Which is always amazing. Um, so, there's, yeah, there's, there's so bloody much. But I feel like, the, the yeah, I'm really excited about Frankie's show and Jody's show, especially doing, if I'm allowed to say. You can say that. You can have favorite. <laughs> Um, um, I mean, I've got favourite plants, but I just don't tell each other uh, who are my favourite. <laughs> yeah. uh, I get in trouble. They'll end up hating me. Um, but hey, um, so you, while you're in Adelaide, um, what kind of things, I mean, because you're such a frequent uh, person down here, what kind of things are you looking forward to doing while you're in town when you're not seeing all these shows? I'm so glad you asked me that. So first of all, I'm going to go see Tina turn up at the Tina Turner Music on the first night, which you've seen, right? Yes. Because I missed yeah. it everywhere I've gone, I've missed it. Missed yeah. it in Brisbane, missed it in Melbourne. So I'm so excited to see that. Um, plus there's a bunch of Kiwis in that that kind of, you know, like know of each other. Yeah. Um, so that's really exciting. I am finally doing the tree climb. Yes. Yes. Um, which I wanted to do for ages, but was just this year with fringe was just so exhausting with the heat waves and stuff. Yeah. Um this this you guys have the best food and coffee culture. I know Melbourne likes to claim it and like there are, but I love just going to all the coffee shops and stuff in Melbourne. Um, yeah, there's, there's so much stuff I just want to do. I want to try and get to a vineyard, but I'm a bit scared that I might like no. be a bit grapey when I come back to the show that night. Um, well, I'm gonna but... I'm gonna tell you something. Um, it's so funny you dropped her name before, but Audra McDonald, who's an iconic Broadway legend, superstar, I was in Adelaide last night at Her Majesty's Theatre. Um, she had been in Adelaide for two days prior, you know, to get ready for the tour. Um, so during those couple of days, she actually did the vineyards because she's a massive oh, fan, um, fan. So she went yeah. out in the Clarence Vale area, the uh, Barossa Valley area, and she raved about oh. our vineyards down here. So there you go. If Audra likes it, you can like that's, it. That's an ad for Adelaide alone. Like sure. I know, right? There's our tourism poster right there. <laughs> um, so please tell me. Um, Let's go back to your show now, which is obviously going to be Cab Live that you're hosting. Yeah. What can we expect from Cab Live? It's at Arthur's Art Bar every night. I think there's different times. So it's literally on the whole festival right to the end, even Mondays. So if you've got nothing to do on a Monday, come on down. It's completely different every night. Um, we've got Carol Young and Ciara Ferguson playing on piano. And I got to work with Carol in um, Edinburgh. Um, and I'm really looking forward to meeting, um, I think it's Ciara, I hope I'm saying that right. Um, maybe it's Kiara. I hope, either way, I'm so sorry. And we've got Michael Griffiths playing for one night, Amazing. which is really lovely. So we're going to try and talk about doing something really camp that night, you know. Great. Um, and it's different artists every night. And we've got from each of the shows, we're still sort of curating, curating what's going to come in and things. I'll do a number or two and try and just crap, but no night will be the same. So even if you come on the Wednesday and you want to come back on the Saturday, it's going to be just balls to the walls, two hours of like mayhem and just celebrating local talent. And also just the shows that are coming in. Because some shows are only there for a night. Some shows are there for the whole festival. But, um, yeah, I'm really excited. I'm really excited to see other people and not have to sort of put the pressure on myself for two hours and be like, so that's kind of exciting. It's great. And, like it's after, like you said, Arthur's Art Bar, which is just in Curry Street, which is like literally two streets over that way. So I'm going to be there every night. You are going to get right. sick, my friends. Um, okay, I have to have costume changes. <laughs> I, 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 will, I, will, I will assist however I can. So um, it is um, Cab Live. It's going to be part of Adelaide Cabaret Fringe Festival from the 24th of May to the 2nd of June. And it will be on every single night. Like Jason said, it's various times, but you can find out all the details on the Cabaret Fringe, well, on the Adelaide Cabaret Fringe website, of course, which of the post. What's that? And it's cheap. So cheap. It's $15, I think. Well, which is nothing about you is cheap, I heard. <laughs> 
I could I don't be, know. I'm not sure. <laughs> I've had my moments. <laughs> it depends on what <laughs> of the week it is. <laughs> um, but yeah, so um, Adelaide Cabaret Fringe Festival, we've been speaking to Leather Lungs, who today is appearing as Jason Chaseland. Um, and Jason, I cannot wait to catch up with you and Leather when you get to town. Now, please, let's you go out. <laughs> let's please go out by telling everyone why they should be getting out and supporting this incredible festival. I think, first of all, because there's so many local artists involved and often the festivals have a lot of interstate or international and there are some of those. Hello, I'm one of them. But I'm getting to come and celebrate local talent and I think that for me is the most exciting thing. And if I can do that with my little platform to help other people, I think that's the most exciting thing because people have done that for me and I hope that I can do that for others. So if there is someone that watches this or they see this and they're local and they're involved, please get in touch with us and we want to, we want to support you. We want to showcase you. And I think that's the most exciting thing for me. I love that. I'm going to ask you one more question. Um, yeah. If you had the power to make the world a better place, what would you do? Jesus. Um, can I be really honest? Go honest. I think if someone has a prior conviction of um, SA or DV, that they're not given bail. And world peace. Yay! I love that. <laughs> Spread the joy, spread the positivity. That's what we need. Yeah. Um, Jason, you are an absolute delight to chat with. Um, everyone, please get along and see Cab Live for the Adelaide Cabaret Fringe Festival when it is on from the 24th of May to the 2nd of June. And Jason, I'm going to catch up with you just in a few weeks. Amazing. With the grape. And <laughs> Bye, thanks. <laughs>